satisfied with the not wait to available meet her. to you. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what she's like. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger.
strike course while we scan for contraband. All right, you're good. Welcome to Aquila City. Alright, we're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail till this is over. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a Ko. As in Solomon Ko, first man on Aquila. That tail I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his senses. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. trying to get out of this place. Gonna be on a slate. Big bundles of paper is what we're after. Oh no. Jacob. Of course that old mule saw this coming. We do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. Yeah, you're right. Let's do this. That's the rock. Ranger Central. Not a bad bar, too. I think I got them... What do you call them? Pork? finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? What's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. 
Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. I got just as much right to those maps as anyone else in this family. That's exactly right, Sam. We all share Solomon's legacy. Only some of us are around to live up to it, and some of us aren't. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. I'm up for a little adventure. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. No, no, no. I mean, this is no place for her, okay? The less time she spends with Jacob, the better. Damn it. Fine, fine, fine. But we'll go get her. I just, if there's any other options, I'd appreciate doing those first. Cartwright might have something. Hey there. Need to make a quick getaway? Or is this a we're coming back for the better weapons kind of thing? Really? Over my strong objections. Works for me. Let's go. Met a guy who finished the Red Mile. He lost an eye in the process. Old man. That's the spirit. If only your ancestor Solomon could be here to see how bright the co future looked. Can we move this along? Uh, don't listen to him, my darling. You should stay here with me during your visit. The co estate's a much better place than some musty old starship. Oh, can I, Dad? No. She was just popping in to say hi. That's it. You want those maps, Sam? Don't think I don't see what you're up to. She'll be safe here while you're doing whatever it is you're gonna do. Fine. 
Hand them over. All right, let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shawgang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Me too. But there's no help in it. We're gonna have to get through them and the local wildlife to get to that cave. Imagine living here, your muscles would be huge.
Here comes the fun.
lot of smugglers are just down on their luck, so maybe a little live and let live. Some smugglers are not bad folk. Just trying to make a living, though. Please, drop some of that. I'm hurting just watching you.
Never wise to be in my way. This ain't over. Not by a long shot.
should bring Cora back here sometime. Tell ghost stories. I think she's still into that. You know they have cargo holds for all that. I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Akila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashto away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Oh, really? Let's hear it. <laughs> Tough talk, but you've backed it up so far, I'll admit. Huh, the Shaw Gang's name in print outside a wanted poster does sound nice. <laughs> Fine, get the hell out of here before I change my mind. I see you again. You're dead. Boss, it's the this is your fault! You better lend us a hand! I owe you something for dealing with the Ashta. Take it and get lost.
we warn them about the Ashta? We got a big old sign. Danger. If they open up the gate and go out there, it's on their own head. Ever run into spacers? <laughs> Scumbags and scavengers. Vultures picking away at the leftovers of the colony. Find them scouring. Well, getting back into the harness. I am at your service, Captain. The newest member of our little family really pulled through for us. Is anyone hurt? You didn't let Cora handle the artifact, did you? We don't know what effects it might have on someone her age. Relax. We're fine. Go ahead. Time for that artifact to meet its siblings. Just... what are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship.
Likewise. You know where to find us. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. Have any new books for me? As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. 